That's what collaboration is all about, just helping each other. This is the Selfridges Work It project and we're part of Makerversity and we're Sticky and we're making a whole new jewellery collection from scratch in this space for six weeks where we have been and it's basically based around past, present and future and we've made three pendants under each theme which also have a multifunctional tool in it. This project is a collaboration with Roland Ellis who is an industrial designer and we decided to collaborate on this collection together because we work at the same studio at Make Diversity and we've always kind of admired each other's work. So this was a good opportunity to fuse our jewellery design background with Roland's industrial design background and collaborate on a new collection together. The Selfridges uh, campaign is about the future of work and how we interact with these systems and objects and, and machines and, and, and mechanical tools is, is very interesting. So yeah, the future hammer, the future tool. We're part of the Selfridges Work It campaign, which is a six week project at their Oxford Street store. And we were selected as one of the artists in residence to have a pop-up studio um, space within the Selfridges store and encourage customers and visitors to come in and see how we work and see how this collection has grown from initial sketches to the final product. We've got three themes, past, present and future, and we've based the pendants around hammer designs from those periods. So we've got the past one, which is based around ancient stone age hammers, and the tool that it's got is a screw, screwdriver, micro screwdriver, so you've got two choices, the Phillips one or the flathead, and then you've got the present design, which is more of a modern aesthetic. And that tool is the iPhone SIM ejector tool. And then you've got the future pendant, which is more of a communication device and playing around digital recognition. So the idea is that you can flip the pendant two ways and each side it has a message on it communicating to the camera. All completely handmade. Mm -hmm. So we've cut them out of leather skin. We made the template, dyed the leather, and attach the finding to what it is now. We've got one of our, our logo stamp made out of a nylon block and we have to hammer it. But to do that deep embossing, we, used, we used, actually use a strong arm. So it was like a press and then you kind of pump it and it pushes it down with like really high pressure. So that's how it's come out really detailed. Nice. So yeah, the whole thing has been like completely handmade from start to finish, <laughs> really, including the jewellery.
If you could go back in time to the beginning of the six weeks, mm. what advice would you give yourself? With mine, obviously, I used a machine uh, and it had some issues. And so I, I, I probably just approached that a bit differently, I think. It would have been nice to have just made objects with the machine. We've made like one-off pieces and stuff, but never like a run of 20 or so. So yeah, that I've definitely learned a lot from that, which I can advance on to the next thing now. <laughs> I think seeing the finished products, because you actually see the result of all the hard work that has been done throughout the, the past weeks and or so. So yeah, I would say that. And also the, the customer interaction. I think that's been great too, to meet people that necessarily wouldn't have heard about us if we weren't here. So we've had an amazing platform to be here in this department store, which has been great. And just reach out to people that are genuinely interested about our brand and our products. So that's great that we're actually reaching a target market that we necessarily wouldn't have reached otherwise. You kind of just see the end product and then you have to sell it from there. Whereas if people can see you actually making the stuff, it's more of like a talking point. This is with the cards like. and then we'll just drop the jewellery in there. So just one each, yeah. Well, if people want to buy two, I think, yeah, we'll still give it one each because we don't want it scratching each other. I definitely felt on this project, we, we kind of used a lot of things that we learned before coming into to this, um, this project because normally we'd spend longer to make uh, on a collection, normally maybe like two months or like something in that region. Whereas this being six weeks, we've kind of had to use a lot of like time management, like planning and um, and as well in a collaboration environment with Ronan, we've kind of been in like lots of communication uh, with each other and using different things like Dropbox, using um, lots of technological tools to make this a success. Um, so I'm pretty, I'm, I'm happy with how we um, stayed on track and the final outcome because we, we've met all of our sort of personal deadlines we set. But yeah, we're really proud of the end result and it's come out like better than we expected, which is always a good thing. Can you see yourself maybe collaborating with Stuki again in the future? Mm, yeah, no, I'd love to. They had, um, uh, we had lots of initial ideas, things we wanted to do, and then we went to sort of this kind of three pendant idea and I think that was really solid as a kind of foundation for this project but there's oh, definitely other things that we talked about. Uh, Stokey Ronan Ellis past, present and future collection is available um, from this space we're in now so in the sub just sort of pop up studio and then after we're gone from here it will also be available on our website uh, www.stokey.co.uk and it will be available for online orders worldwide.